Hi. So today I have um, an interesting announcement to make, and and I feel really nervous about this Facebook Live. <laughs> if you've ever been one of the people who thinks that I just am always confident when I'm speaking publicly and that I'm just totally grounded when it comes to doing video, I guess today you get to see what it looks like to see Andrew Donovan really nervous. Um, so today I made an interesting transition that's been uh, actually in the works for a while. I am no longer a wellness advocate and rather than information spreading out via rumors, I thought it would be better just to address my friends and, and everyone here online um, myself. And so the purpose of this Facebook Live is for me to explain why this transition and, um, and what it means for our relationship, but especially I want to mostly talk about you and your journey in doTERRA and, and what that can look like for you in the future. Hi, Leslie. Good to see everybody. <laughs> so, um, and also just to let you know, this is not a video about, about uh, I'm not going to be talking about why anyone should quit doTERRA, just so you know. Um, I look at those videos on YouTube like just the stupid ones where people talk about scams and MLMs and all that and this is that is not this video. Just to be really upfront, um, I as of today am no longer a doTERRA wellness advocate. I am still a wholesale customer and the reason why is because in the uh, some recently last year Jeffrey and I, my husband, we founded Oil Magic Publishing. You've, I probably should have brought that book with me actually so that I can show you what I'm talking about. But um, we started a company called Oil Magic Publishing that publishes some essential oil reference books. And they're definitely non-compliant books. And, and we've had just so much fun with them and got an amazing positive feedback about them. And as you know, in the United States, there is a thing called the FDA. And the FDA has regulations about what kinds of things you can say about the products you're selling. And in these books, we talk about peppermint being useful for headaches and and all the rest of the you know the non-compliant claims that you make with an essential oil reference book and you can't sell books like this and sell peppermint for example at the same time and so we've been in discussions with Oterra legal and compliance for a number of months now and and just had a hard decision to make basically it was sell your books or be wellness advocates and this is not a decision that I've made lightly, obviously. And <laughs> it felt like a really complex decision. Um, ultimately, what I realized though, is I signed up for doTERRA at the very beginning because I believed in a specific, a very specific thing. I saw doTERRA as the most clear, powerful platform I'd come across at that point to help people become more empowered, to help entrepreneurs rise to help families take their power back into their own hands. I and I obviously live the doTERRA message myself and and that's why I signed up for doTERRA. And what I realized during these conversations with doTERRA legal and compliance is that is that we're doing the same thing with our books. When people have their oils and they know how to use their oils because they've got clear easy to use protocols and and instructions that don't leave them guessing that's working toward the exact same mission and I believe that people need these books and we want to get them into as many hands as possible and so you might be wondering well can't you just like not own your books and still promote them and still be a wellness advocate and the answer is there's all kinds of creative solutions that we could have opted into and ultimately the one that felt just so clear was it's time to surrender your doTERRA team and to serve a, a greater capacity, to serve the community as a whole. And so if you followed me for any amount of time, you know that, that I've already been playing this role. We've already been, been sharing the oil magic books and, and I do lots of trainings with doTERRA teams all over the world through my seven steps to residual income course. And so I've already been playing this role. It's, it's going to be, a lot easier for me to focus with greater clarity on in these roles and and I believe that I can serve more people in this capacity so I love doTERRA and and if you're wondering wow should I question my being in a wellness advocate position too like you personally 
what I would say to that is, I mean, probably you should, you should always make sure that you're doing what's most inspired for you. So I've got, you guys are so nice. Melissa says, but it makes a lot of sense. And Angel says that book is amazing. I appreciate that. Um, we, we collaborated with some really amazing people to create this book. This was the first one that came out a couple of years ago. And the reason why we wrote this book um, is because we, I love the books that are available in doTERRA. The Essential Life is just, it's like, Essential Life is like everything you'd ever want to know about oils in one book. And Modern Essentials is like the academic, just golden child of the essential oil world. And it's, I, they're so beautiful. And as we use those books in our own doTERRA business, I, I found the need for something that was simpler because I just found that when we're orienting new customers at the beginning, we needed something that was like protocol based. It said, for this ailment, use this many drops on this part of the body, this many times a day for this long. And, and we didn't have access to that. And so that's why we made the small book. And then the small book was really easy to expand into a deluxe edition that just had a lot more protocols. And, and so that's where all of this started, just seeing a need to make things simpler and more accessible to especially newer users, which is most people in doTERRA as they join doTERRA. And, um, and so, I, I came to this decision just asking what is the most inspired path? And so Angel says, so beautiful, specific, I use it every day. I thank you, I'm glad to hear that. And we've had a lot of fun with it. And the, the people that contributed, the protocols and a lot of the research, um, I, I cite people like PJ Hanks, who's one of just the most awesome science minds in doTERRA. And, and there were different naturopaths and, and uh, homeopathic specialists and Chinese herbalists and holistic health coaches that contributed content. And they're wellness advocates, so naturally they are not listed and they are opting into remaining anonymous. And, and now I am not anonymous. And by the way, if you have any queries about oil magic, please send them to contact at oilmagicbook.com. Don't private message me, that would be really overwhelming. Um, so ultimately, I'm really excited for the future. And now that we're done talking about me, oh, Rachel, of course I'm going to convention. I have to be there. I don't see this at all as me quitting doTERRA. I see this as me transitioning into a different role. I just, I believe that we need more power behind getting our brand newbies educated in a way that makes it so that they can access information and have access to easy to implement protocols. And when people know how to use their oils, they use them more often. And when they use them more often, they get better results. It's as clear as that. And as this new role where I'm no longer bound by wellness advocate regulations, instead I'm a, a, an essential oil information publisher, basically, I'll be able to just, I'll be able to support you and yours in that role a lot more effectively. So yes, I will be, I will be at convention. So now that we're talking about me, I want to talk about you. Where are you in your doTERRA journey? And have you found the place where you can look at what other people are doing, find inspiration in what they're doing, and still totally honor your own journey? You know, as I've, as I've made this transition, the first person that I talked to is Eric Larson, our master, one of our two master distributors. And as soon as I told him, his response was, Andrew, I am so happy to hear this. And I said, you are, because I was so nervous to tell you. And he told me, uh, and by the way, it took me like 30 minutes to push the start button on this Facebook Live. I was really nervous, but you guys are writing such nice things. <laughs> and anyway, he said, we need more of what you produce and you're bound by wellness advocate restrictions and regulations and now you won't be. And, and um, I felt so much support from my own doTERRA team, from my upline, and you know, I want to tell you a few of the a few of the interesting parts of my doTERRA journey that I think you might relate to. In the six years that I've been a wellness advocate, I've I've really tied my sense of worth to my rank. Can anyone else relate to that? The other night after I, I clicked the, the account transfer button on the computer to transfer my account to someone else, I I got a little weepy. And, uh, and, and my friends were there with me and they were so nice and they gave me hugs. And then uh, when they left, I just went up to my room and I sat on my sofa and uh, I just had you know, a little bit of an emotional moment. 
and I wondered why it was an emotional thing for me. And I realized it's not because I'm scared of not playing a wellness advocate role anymore. I mean, I definitely went through all of the, you know, just checking cost benefit analysis. And, and obviously there are some things that I won't be participating in anymore, like the diamond retreats and different leadership calls because I'm not in that position now. And what I realized though that I was most scared of was I had really tied my sense of self-worth to my rank. And, and I'd spent a lot of time throughout the years of Noterra thinking that if I were a higher rank, if I was a gold or a diamond or a blue diamond, then I would be respected more or I'd feel like I'm less of a failure or I'm more of a worthwhile human being or people would want to talk to me at events more because I had a high rank. And you know, as I hang out with a lot of people in doTERRA, I think that that's common, isn't it? We see just so much praise that people get. And, and naturally, it, it's gonna be so, because we, this is a company where there's, a, there's one path of progression. It's the path of rank advancement. And, and when you start at zero, which is consultant, and then move up to manager and et cetera, the thing that people talk about is how do I get to the next level? How do I get to elite? How do I get to silver? How do I get to diamond? So that I can be part of the different, enjoy the different privileges that come with those ranks, like being invited to leadership or being invited to the leadership calls or the diamond retreats or the blue and presidential summit. And just by nature of how this business is structured, it's really easy to get confused and to think that your journey must look a certain way. And I'll tell you, as I was deliberating about my choices that I had in front of me with this, and by the way, you understand that this choice is not the same choice that most of you will ever have to make because you're probably not going to publish essential oil reference books, but, but you will make the choice about how you honor your own doTERRA journey. And I've had many moments where different people in the company, just so you know, most people in doTERRA are like you in these comments, like Lisa, congratulations, enjoy your new adventure. Thank you. And I'm still here with you. It's my relationship with you isn't really going to change. Someone asked you, am I still going to do these Facebook lives? Yeah, I totally will. I love them. I, I love strategizing with you and helping you develop your business strategies. And, and now it's going to be able to be fun to talk about this kind of stuff without my hands tied behind my back. Um, Amidst the, the multitude of support, I've had interesting conversations with some people in doTERRA who have definitely believed that I was making the wrong choice because they believe that having a high rank in doTERRA is the ultimate thing that you can do. It's the most noble thing that you can do, or it's the right path to, to journey. And, and I've had some, some influential people in doTERRA definitely infer to me that it would be less valuable or less meaningful to play any role but be a high-ranked leader in doTERRA. And you know, the only reason why I'm telling you about this is because I want you to understand that whatever reason you're here for, it needs to be your reason. It should never be because anybody else expects you to show up anything but what you feel called to do. Do you know, when I, when I wrote the first Oil Magic book, I was talking to someone who really didn't agree with me writing this. They thought I should be only focused on my doTERRA team. And, and I'll be honest with you, I, I hit my, do, my diamond rank because I just wanted to prove that I could do it. And, and then I didn't go back and support it and stabilize the rank because at a soul level, I just felt so called to building my strategy trainings, like seven steps to residual income, and then and then producing the next level, which was the advanced book, and and I didn't put a lot of focus. And you know, when I put my focus on something, I, I know I'm a powerful creator, I can blow stuff up. This one, the these one doTERRA leaders in specific, they really disapproved of me creating this. They thought I should be focusing on my doTERRA team. And, and when I said I felt really inspired to do this, they basically said, well, that was, you weren't following your inspiration, or that was the wrong inspiration, because this is what it should have looked like. And I let that get to me for a while. And I'm actually glad that I got to hear that from somebody, because it gave me the opportunity to, to realize nobody gets to tell you what is right for you. Do you know when you know what's right for you? when you feel lit up by something, when you feel eager anticipation, 
when you feel excitement, when you feel like you wake up in the morning and you want to do it. I remember when I wrote this first one, we actually produced the entire book in 21 days. <laughs> it started with, I was in conversations with, uh, with someone high up at Oil Life, you know, the oil distribution, the oil tool store. And we were talking about just how when we get, when we were educating our customers, they just, the new ones, the people that hadn't been using oils for a while, they just had a hard time grasping the concept of oils. And to us, it's like easy because we do it. And that's when I said, we, we should have a book that is like protocol based that just says for this issue, use this many drops on this part of your body, this many times a day for this long. And, and someone said, well, you should write one. And, and I said, well, when would it have to be done by to have it ready at convention? And we had 21 days from that day to produce the whole book. Every morning for that 21 days, I woke up without my alarm because I just woke up in the morning and I was so excited for my project. And I knew that I was doing something that was in alignment with me. And I kept having those little voices on my shoulders saying like, no, you should be focusing on this instead. And, and and that felt like conflict because it was not in alignment with what I felt called to do. And, and so to be frank, I've learned that you can never please everybody. You're always going to piss somebody off. And at the end of the day, you will provide the highest level of positive impact in the world. When you wake up in the morning, you meditate, you pray, and you ask, where can I do the most good? And so whatever thing called you here to doTERRA, I'm going to tell you, I think you're in the right spot. I've written business tools and written business strategies for multiple million and billion dollar companies. A lot of you don't know that. I haven't, I haven't just developed tools for doTERRA because I've got this. That's one of my gifts. I've got a strategy mind that is really good at making complex things make step by step sense to any person that looks at it. And for that reason, other big companies have come to me and said, will you help us develop a strategy or a tool set? And in this MLM world, boy, you have it so good in doTERRA. I have yet to find one company whose comp plan is better, one company whose executive board is more solid and has a higher level of integrity. I've run into companies that I wouldn't work with because, because they don't have the values that I believe in. and. And doTERRA has those values. I believe that you have that I'm going to say we because I still am, you know, I'm, I'm a doTERRA man through and through. I'm just not a wellness advocate. Um, I think that our product is by far superior than any product I've ever seen in an MLM model. It deserves to be in an MLM model. And if you missed my Facebook live from a few weeks ago when I talked about why uh, why you doTERRA or why network marketing gets a scammy reputation, you should go watch it because I go into that in a, in a very deep way and, and I address multiple angles. I think you're in the right place and I think that you got called here for, for some noble reasons most likely. And your doTERRA journey is not going to look like anybody else. You've got to stop comparing yourself to other people. You gotta stop looking at your diamond upline and saying, wow, she did it in two years and I'm five years into this, I suck. You don't, nothing is wrong with you. I actually sat across someone who's on my doTERRA team last night at dinner and, and she told me that she asked herself all the time, what's wrong with me? She, and, and this has been a question she's asked herself in doTERRA many times because she loves the oils, she loves health and wellness, she's a healer by nature and the business part of it has been a little bit tricky for her. Not a little bit, a lot of it tricky for her. And I had to tell her, stop asking yourself what's wrong with you. Nothing is. The only question you should be asking yourself is where is my alignment? What do I feel called to do? If you feel called to do a 30 day rank advancement challenge, do it and put your whole heart into it. If you feel called to do something consistent and maybe a little bit smaller, like how can I enroll two people a month, then put your heart into it and put your focus there and just own that that's what feels right for you. Because you know how you don't help people by comparing yourself and trying to live up to other people's expectations. And I'm going to tell you right now, I spent a lot of time at doTERRA doing that. In fact, while, 
while I am really happy that I did hit that diamond rank, <laughs> and even though I didn't work, do the work to sustain it, I was happy that I did it. For me, I, in many moments, guilted and shamed myself for not showing up the way that other people wanted me to show up. I had a lot of times when I was so scared to advance, go to company events and have people say, why aren't you a blue diamond yet? And and, and ultimately, I wish that people would not show up to events and ask, what rank are you? You know why? This is why. And if you could take anything away from this video, besides the fact that you should stop comparing yourself and that you need to just ask, where is my alignment? What is my inspired step in front of me? The other thing that I would say you should take away is, huh, my brain just went blank because I was watching your comments. <laughs> I don't even remember what I was talking about. Um, oh. It's that, it's that, it's that nobody can tell you what's right for you, okay? So, I think you get it. Christina says, thank you for this. It's, it's, it's heavier too, that mega struggles with the business. Oh, oh, I'm a healer too, that mega struggles with the business. I hope that you achieve what you dream of achieving. You know, I remember I was cleaning out my office recently and I found my very original build guide paper and, and it said, I will be diamond by this date. And it was nine months from the day I started doTERRA. It took me five years to get to diamond. I felt like such a failure so many moments. And mostly it was because I was comparing myself so often to other people. And you, you just shouldn't do that. So where does this leave us in our journey? I'm gonna keep producing content. My strategy courses will continue. I actually have some really cool stuff that I am just so excited to produce and I'm so excited to provide you. We were just at the Diamond Retreat in, uh, in doTERRA a couple weeks ago and so many conversations that I had with people were how do I market online and how do I build out my online persona and my tech presence because that's what I, they were asking me this because that's what I'm good at. And so I've been percolating and preparing to produce some really valuable, high impact tools, resources that will help you grow your business in new strategic and very tech savvy ways. And I really can't wait to share these things with you. So I guess the only other thing that I'll say is from the bottom of my heart, thank you for being here with me and thank you for allowing me to be part of your journey. Um, you know the thing that I was most scared of out of everything when I decided to let go of my wellness advocate position was I was worried that I wouldn't have a place in this community anymore because I thought maybe people won't see me as useful anymore because I'm not a wellness advocate and, and I know that's not true. I can see all your comments and all of your hearts and, and it really means a lot to me. And uh, so thank you for that. And uh, yeah, I'm excited too. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be super fun what we produce going forward and the journeys that we have together. Those of you that are already in any of my courses, um, we're just gonna keep having fun, keep having a party. And, and for everybody else, um, I hope this is a message that you, a conversation that you'll have more of with your team. When you start your relationship with new builders, when you're coaching, when you're mentoring, when you're talking with your upline, I hope that you understand that, that even though it's on the company calls, it's in the leadership magazine, even though rank is the thing that typically get, gets appreciated and gets the most public validation, I hope that you understand that why you're here needs to be between you and your higher self or your creator. It can't be between you and anybody else. Do we have accountability buddies? Yeah. Is the company gonna praise you for hitting silver or gold and put you in a magazine? Yeah, and it's so fun. And I, I totally support all of those recognition systems. Do not ever let that distract you from what you are called to do on the most sacred, personal, intimate level, okay? And when you do get distracted, you need to tune everything out and you need to put the leadership magazine away and stop watching the Facebook videos and the YouTube videos and you need to go and you need to meditate or pray or whatever is your sacred practice and get back in sync with why you are here. Because just you, without any influence from anybody's opinion or any system or any recognition platform or anybody's ex expectation, you're here for something special. 
And you're going to do the most good when you're crystal clear aligned with that. So that's all I have for you. I love you. I will see you on my next Facebook Live, which is this coming Monday at noon Mountain Time, as usual. And thanks for being supportive. And I will see you soon. Okay, much love. Mwah. Goodbye.